हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई सी अकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड ए प्रॉब्लम ऑन लो पास फिल्टर डिजाइन हियर वी नीड टू डिजाइन ए लो पास बटरवर्थ फिल्टर विद द फॉलोइंग स्पेसिफिकेशंस फर्स्ट वन is a 3 db attenuation at pass band frequency of 1.5 kilohertz 10 db stop band attenuation at frequency of 3 kilohertz and sampling frequency of 8000 hertz here pass band attenuation is 3 db stop band attenuation is 10 db sampling frequency is 8000 hertz first let us calculate omega dp which is for pass band frequency of 1.5 kilohertz so that can be given as 2 pi f so here f is 1.5 kilohertz so if we substitute that value it will be 2 pi into 1500 so this can be written as 3000 pi radians per second now let us calculate omega ds which is for stop band frequency so we can write that as 2 pi f that is nothing but 2 pi f is 3 kilohertz so it is 3000 so this is nothing but 6000 pi radians per second sampling period is t that can be given as 1 by fs so this is nothing but 1 by 8000 seconds first step is to apply warping equations for pass band we can write that as omega ap is equal to 2 by t tan omega dt divided by 2 so if we substitute the values here so 2 by t it will be 16000 into tan of omega d we have already calculated which is 3000 pi divided by 8000 whole divided by 2 so if we calculate this value we will get omega ap is equal to 1.0691 into 10 to the power of 4 radians per second in the same way let us calculate for stop band that can be given as omega as is equal to 2 by t into tan omega dt divided by 2 so if we substitute the values here so it will be 16000 into tan of omega d for stop band is 6000 pi so 6000 pi divided by 8000 whole divided by 2 so if we solve this we will get omega as is equal to 3.8627 into 10 to the power of 4 radians per second now let us calculate filter order so we can find order of the filter by taking sigma square is equal to 10 to the power of 0.1 ap minus 1 so if we substitute the value of ap which is 3 db so we will get 10 to the power of 0.1 into 3 minus 1 which is nothing but 1 therefore 
we can write n is equal to log to base 10 10 to the power of 0 0.1 as minus 1 whole divided by 2 log to base 10 of vs here the value of vs will be equal to vs is equal to omega as divided by omega a p so that is nothing but if we substitute the value of omega as and omega ap we will get 3.6130 radians per second so we can use this value in this formula so we will get n is equal to log to base 10 of 10 to the power of 0 0.1 into as value is 10 so we can write that as 10 minus 1 whole divided by 2 into log to base 10 of 3.6130 so this value will be 0 0.8553 so let us approximate this value to 1 In the second step, let us use low pass prototype transformation. So, since it is low pass to low pass transformation, for a low pass prototype, we can use HP of S is equal to 1 divided by S plus 1. Since it is a low pass to low pass transformation, we can use H of S is equal to HP of S by replacing S with S divided by omega AP. So we can write this as 1 divided by in place of S we can write S divided by omega AP plus 1. So we can write this as omega AP divided by S plus omega a p so we got h of s is equal to omega a p divided by s plus omega a p if we substitute the values of uh, omega a p we will get 1.0691 into 10 to the power of 4 whole divided by s plus 1. 0, 0.691 into 10 to the power of 4. So finally, in the last step, let us apply bilinear transformation. We can use bilinear transformation as H of Z is equal to H of S when S is replaced with 2 by T into Z minus 1 divided by z plus 1 so here 2 by t is nothing but 16000 so let us use that so we can write h of z is equal to 1.0691 into 10 to the power of 4 all divided by s plus 1.0691 into 10 to the power of 4 here s should be replaced with 16,000 into z minus 1 divided by z plus 1. So we'll get h of z is equal to 1.0691 into 10 to the power of 4 whole divided by 16,000 into z minus 1 divided by z plus 1 plus 1.0691 into 10 to the power of 4. Now let us divide by 16,000. 
so we'll get h of z is equal to 0 0.6682 whole divided by z minus 1 divided by z plus 1 plus 0 0.6682 now let us multiply z plus 1 on both numerator and denominator so we'll get h of z is equal to 0 0.6682 into z plus 1 whole divided by z minus 1 plus 0 0.6682 into z plus 1 so if we simplify this we'll get 0 0.6682 z plus 0 0.6682 whole divided by 1.6682 z minus 0 0.3318 we know this term should be made as 1 so let us divide numerator and denominator by 1.6682 z therefore we will get h of z is equal to 0 0.4006 plus 0 0.4006 z inverse whole divided by 1 minus 0 0.1989 z inverse so this is the required expression this is the problem on low pass filter design hope you have understood the topic thank you